Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Anna Petropoulos. I'm a board-certified facial plastic surgeon from Boston. And we will be talking about rejuvenation with fractional and injectable radio frequency today, along with Defensins. This is one of the lounges at our center. And our structure today is as follows. We all know that we have to retexturize our skin as we age. My favorite modality to do that is actually radio frequency. It has proven itself over the last 18 years in my practice to tighten collagen, as we see here. An old elongated collagen strand gets contracted with radio frequency. And this diagram shows why radio frequency is actually a better modality than laser for skin tightening, because the energy is delivered in a bulk volumetric fashion, as opposed to the laser energy, which is just a pinpoint treatment column. This schema shows a moderately uh, youthful neck. It ages, the collagen strands elongate, and then they tighten again with radio frequency. In the old days, we used to use CO2 laser to retexturize. It was fraught with complications, even though the results were amazing. The complications were too severe and the downtime was also too severe. So the market is now growing and wants a treatment with no downtime and equal results. Enter fractional radiofrequency treatments. The indications are for rightids, brown spots, erythematous areas, pores, anything that needs to be retexturized. There are multiple scientific and peer-reviewed articles in the literature, as there are multiple uh, devices on the market offering, offering uh, fractional radio frequency. The one that we use in my office is Fractora. It offers both ablative and non-ablative treatment areas, which result in remodeling of deeper tissues and re-epithelialization. It is customizable. The treatment depth ranges from 600 microns to 3,500 microns, or 3.5 millimeters, and the density of treatment ranges from 24 pins to 126 pins per square inch. Also, coated tips and uncoated tips are available. The coated ones namely spare the epidermis and only tr treat deeper down in the tissues. So that allows treatment on darker skin individuals and type 4s and 5s. Here on the left hand side you see a coated tip treatment where the epidermis is spared. Uh, again here, coated on the left and uncoated on the right, that's a microscopic view. Now the macroscopic view uh, post-operatively or post-treatment. Histology shows phagocytosis and restructuring of tissues and scars have been shown to tighten by 53% acne scar tightening as well as regular scar tightening. Many doctors use uh, fractional radio frequency for acne treatments. I personally use it more for retexturizing and tightening the skin, as we see here. These are my patients. You see a tightening of her jawline, an elevation of her cheek mounds, and more red lip showing, decrease of white lip showing. And the results continue to improve up to 15 months. Her three-quarter view shows a wonderful cheek elevation on her left cheek and skin retexturizing throughout. Notice the reduction in the neck wrinkles. Notice the jowl shrinkage. Again, continuing to improve for 15 months. This lady is a 67-year-old retired nurse. Notice how her jowl pouching has improved along her marionette line and how her jawline is more refined. Her cheek is elevated. The skin texture is greatly improved. This lady has very poor protoplasm as a smoker, drinker, and owner of uh, sun tanning salons. So regardless, she still showed a result after a month. Uh, similarly, this uh, older lady shows improvement in her wrinkling and uh, elevation of her cheek mounds and improvement in her jawline and jowl. 
Uh, here we see improvement of the marionette line. Here overall improvement persisting up to 12 months. Uh, this lady is an alcoholic professor in Alaska, and in spite of um, that, she also showed good results at two weeks. Uh, this is a missionary and uh, had sun exposure in the past. She shows good results. This is overall freshening at three months. 35-year-old, her marionette line and nasolabial fold improved. This is a 76-year-old with refinement of her jawline. Again, retexturizing of a crepey neck and retexturizing of the face. Uh, it's good in Asian skins, safe to use. This is me. Uh, you notice improvement in the uh, neck rightids. Also, it's good for uh, abdomen smoothing and for hyperhidrosis. Now, let's move on to injectable radiofrequency treatments. The prototype is found at the bottom of the slide. As you can see, it's a unipolar single cannula that is inserted subdermally under the skin. In the upper part of the slide is the newest version of injectable radiofrequency, namely a bipolar cannula. So the one cannula goes under the skin and the second pole is above the skin. The energy travels between the two poles so it stays very contained and this makes it a safe treatment to use throughout all areas of the face without fear of damage to the facial nerve. So this is a major breakthrough in technology for injectable radiofrequency treatments. You can see the tissue contracted by 42%. So the, the bipolar injectable radiofrequency comes with two uh, types of hand pieces. The face tight is 10 centimeters long, the cannula, and it can go up to one inch treatment depth. The body tight is 17 centimeters long, more sturdy, and can go up to two inches treatment depth if necessary. Both uh, the surface tip and the uh, deep cannula have thermistors and enable very safe treatments, um, temperature controlled with temperature cutoffs. Here is a picture of me performing the treatment, and here is a video. We start the procedure with applying gel so that the surface electrode can travel easily above the skin. Um, you also see the face plate that allows us to set the temperature. Uh, my cannula was traveling subdermally there with the surface electrode gliding nicely along. And you can see it's a very gentle and um, simple procedure to perform. There's hardly any downtime, maybe a little bit of swelling for a day or two, maybe a tiny bit of bruising, but that's very unusual. Uh, and here are some results. This young man had no lipoaspirate. This is pure radiofrequency skin tightening and fat melting. Results at a month. Same for this patient. Um, some of these results are quite significant. Others are more moderate. This is Dr. Duncan's patient. Notice the improvement in texture as well. Patients take uh, different times to show their results. Some show them um, right away, three days later when the um, swelling subsides. Others take two to three weeks to start showing and the results continue to improve up to six months and more. The, the skin laxity has greatly improved here, as you can see. Uh, Dr. Mulholland also uses it for the upper and lower eyelids and brow, uh, the submental area, jawline, now this can also be used for the body. This diagram shows the persistence of the temperature, uh, uh, persistence of the heat an hour later, and this causes the fibroceptal network to contract and give better results and better contours. This is a patient in our uh, center. Notice her amazing improvement just a month later. Uh, this is some more examples of body tight. This is from Body Sculpt in Manhattan. This is Dr. Duncan, Dr. Hurwitz, 
Dr. Theodoru, and here Dr. Blugerman is using it for breast lifting. So we can combine both the Fractura and the RFAL, uh, injectable radiofrequency, to create deeper tightening as well as superficial tightening, and we also combine it with defensins, which stimulate the LGR6 uh, stem cells to produce brand new baby skin. This lady is 76 years old. She had Fractura and RFAL body tight along with defense and application. Uh, this lady was just Fractura and face tight. Notice the improvements in the texture. Same here, Fractura and face tight. Te uh, texture and tightening. This 72 year old lady um, shows a lovely natural improvement using face tight Fractura and defensins. Uh, this lady really belonged in the operating room. However, she refused and chose a microinvasive procedure of face tight Fractura and the application of defensins. This is two months later and she uh, will continue to tighten for six months. Same here. Uh, she belonged in the operating room but uh, preferred to go the microinvasive route. Her results are quite uh, significant at three months for being non-invasive, microinvasive. So in conclusion, injectable and fractional radiofrequency can be combined to uh, improve the results of retexturizing and tightening skin, and defensins further improve um, the results. More studies are needed to obtain quantitative data. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.